the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and no sorrow is added to it. The Bible says to us, and we, we didn't never think about the B clause in this word. And it says that God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ask, think, or even imagine, but it is according to the power that works on the inside of us. That same power, he says, is that the Bible says in Deuteronomy, that that there is we we don't understand this but 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 God is giving us the power to obtain wealth that same power that same purpose that same anointing that same gift uh, that He's given us for us to be creative and uh, for us to be able to have these things in us these gifts are able to position us and they're able to preserve us. Uh, and we don't talk a lot about us because about this because, and I'm just going to be honest because those of you all that really know me and really know the way I teach, know that I have to deal with philosophy a lot of the times. And I deal a lot of times with mantle, the mantle of multi-potentiality and the mantle of multiplicity. Um, but I need us to understand something and we don't like to talk about this, but but I've talked about this realm of reciprocity. And we see it in the Bible and, and we see it in Galilee Galatians 6 and 7, that not to be deceived, God's not mock whatever a man sows, he reaps. A lot of times we use that when we want to talk about, um, you know, all right, be careful about how you treat folks, because if you sow it, you're going to reap it. Um, or a lot of times we'll use it when we talk about uh, giving and we'll say, you know, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. But I think also we don't understand, though, is that when we sow things into the ground, things that are made in, by our hands, things that God has purposed us to do, we reap profitability when we we sow our purpose. Now, we don't want to hear this, but I'm telling y'all because it ain't about to be no broke saints and ain'ts in this next season. If we hear and heed, a lot of times we're struggling because we are out here pursuing purpose, but everybody's profiting from us and we're trying to figure out how we're barely surviving because we have not gotten the revelation about what God has released unto us. I can't get no help in here, but I'm going to give it to you and I'm going to allow you to see what God has said. The Bible Bible says, because we believe this lie that we can't profit when we operate in our purpose. I feel my help 